So we're back on this WRS and I just analyzed the refrigerant because I did get the story that this customer, I always test it anyway, but especially since this is a, you say 40,000 miles on this vehicle? 50,000 50, miles. And uh, what year is it? 217. A 17 WRS. So he came from this shop from four months ago. 97%, little 12 or YF in there, got 2%, 18% air. How the F do you get 18% air? So that's the kind of shop he went to, and that's why he's here. This is the second video. And uh, I wonder if it's one of those scum-sucking owners who goes, oh no, we don't need a refrigerant analyzer. So if you ever dealt or taken your car to some low-life shop who doesn't have a refrigerant analyzer, this is why you need them, to protect yourself as a customer against those kind of shops. Um, all right, guys, I'll see you later. And they just talk, filled it back up. And you can clearly see all the oil residue that they didn't go after the known leak. So you have a shop who hires guys who are not experienced, guys who don't know common pattern problems that have been around for more than a decade, guys who don't read. It's probably one of those owners who go, oh, I only want to hire young guys because old guys have bad habits and they're usually toxic and stuff like that no that's usually because you're an incompetent owner who can't train guys so you only want cheap guys and you don't want to deal with a guy who won't put up with the bullshit of the owner who doesn't know his ass for a fucking hole in their ground all right guys see you later i know i'm generalizing too much and it's not always like that but the majority after the last 30 years this is what i always walk into when i go to one of those shops to go visit them see you guys Oh, it's not holding, Tom.